Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heroes Chronicles spin-off series for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. In Chapter 4, Tarnum must discover what had caused all of the good dragons to flee Avli, and then confront the Dragon Queen of Nyon. Scenario 2, Dragon's Blood. Tarnum must acquire the vial of Dragon's Blood so he can take the gold and green dragons out from Mutari's control. Be careful not to lose Tarnum. All heroes will be limited to level 12, and Tarnum and two of his best captains will transfer to the next scenario. We'll go with one attack, let's do this. Mutare was human once, but her thirst for power drove her to drink a potion that turned her into a dragon. Soon, she became the Dragon Queen of Nyon, where her reputation for cruelty became as well known as her desire to rule the world. The Dragon Talker's account of the disappearance of the good dragons has left me concerned for their safety. One morning, with blank stares in their eyes, they took to the air and flew east towards Nyon. The Dragon Talker tried to stop them, but what can an old woman do to stop a dragon? If the Dragon Talker is right that the Dragon Queen Mutari has indeed gained the ability to control the minds and wills of all dragons, then the world will soon be under Nyon rule and Mutari would be a greater tyrant than I had been when I was the Barbarian King. Now I know that I must not only save the good dragons, but I must stop Mutari, no matter what it takes. Okay, so I am glad to see that they are actually closing out some of these story arcs from Heroes 3 Armageddon's Blade. This chapter seems to be focused quite heavily around Mutari. I wonder if Dracon... Um, makes an appearance because Drakon was the dragon hunter from Heroes 3 Armageddon's Blade so I kind of expected Drakon and uh, Mutari to clash given that's kind of like the direction I saw that going. I'm curious to see if he does make an appearance in this campaign although given we've already seen Tarn and the Enchanter would suggest probably not. I sit with Aspen my advisor each night to play a game of chess I always lose, but it's a chance for us to discuss our plans for the next day in private. The Elf King sent one of his own captains to find the vial of dragon's blood months ago before all this happened. He heard it before it into Nyon hands and didn't want our enemy to possess such an artifact, Aspen said, and absently moved his queen. Well, they obviously didn't find it, so what happened? I said. I saw a weakness in Aspen's defence and moved my knight to take advantage of it. Check, I said. Aspen smiled and didn't even look at the board. Huh. The group sent to retrieve the vial has never returned and are assumed dead. I see, I said. You'll move. Aspen moved his queen once again and said, Checkmate. The old elf's gloating face always made me want to smash the board in two, but I resisted. One day I'll win, and then I'll teach him how a barbarian gloats. <laughs> I have to say, I do like the um, dynamic between these two, Aspen and Tarnum. You got the uh, Aspen, the pompous, stuck-up elf, and then you got Tarnum, the uh, righteous barbarian. The Pegasi have decided to join my search for the good dragons. Although their aerial attacks will be a priceless benefit to my army, my master of supplies is angry with me. More mouths? I shall ask thing I need, Kerbin shouted when I told him. <laughs> Well, I definitely think it's worth waiting for the Ballista. Um, that will be super helpful, especially as we've got Ballistics. It's a nice pick up that. Not quite sure we're ready to take on Grand Elves just yet. Should probably avoid that fight. We don't have the biggest of armies. Ooh, a gold mine. Definitely want that. So what exactly does this vial of dragon's blood do? I ask Aspen as we ride. It's said to be the blood of the first dragon dame, the one who gave birth to all the dragons, Aspen said. 
Of course, that can't be proved, though. Just a tiny drop of blood within the vial can make a dragon stronger, and I've heard no matter how often you use it, the vial never runs dry. So how is it supposed to break Mutari's control over the good dragons? I guess the dragon's blood has more powers than we know. Maybe it strengthens their mind as well as body. So we definitely want to try and get some more sharpshooters. Hopefully we've got enough money to upgrade. Just about nice. A local dwarf tells you that the gold mine has been abandoned for three months, ever since some giant dogs made it their den one night. Every attempt by the miners to expel the hellhounds has failed. Lives have been lost. So you offer to give them a hand in return for a steady supply of gold to help support your forces. Agreed, says the dwarf miner. Noise. Monair. Ten gems for a level. Oof. I think I'll pass on that one actually. At the mouth of the Crystal Cave stands lots of hooting and spitting familiars who refuse to leave. Raids such as this are common this close to the border and are usually dealt with by the local forest guard, but you decide to help. Pizza cake mate. Whoa, that is a crazy garrison arch, devils. What? And it's magic resistant. Today, Aspen provided me with a map of the region, including our best information about the land of the devils across the mountains. I must find a way into that land. It'll take me too long to build an army large enough to get through the fire gate, that's for sure. So if I can't go through, I must go around, and that means the ocean. Our information is vague, but we do know that the Devils don't have a port. The real question, however, is if they have any place where we could land a ship. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, we definitely can't take that, not as it's a magic enchanted... Or an anti-magic gate, I should say. Luckily, this is another small map, so... So the, the only problem is it's flagged by red, so the second I move away from my base, I can guarantee that they're going to attack me. <laughs> Which is going to be a problem, I suspect. I don't have, like, any... Yeah, that's yeah exactly what I'm expecting to happen. So I think I'll wait till the end of this week and then get an army to move out. Kerbin, my master of supplies, has requested that I hire a hero responsible for visiting the windmill, mystical garden and water wheel each week. It seems a good idea, since I may get too busy to do it myself, or too far away. Not only that, but this new hero can collect the new troops trained in places like the Enchanted Spring and the Dwarf Cottage. Poor Kerbin, more mouths to feed. Considering the scope of your mission, the Elf King has sent you extra troops. Ooh, nice. Good on, lad. More sharpshooters for the cause. Hell yeah. I'm considering whether I get a capital first before getting all the troops. I could certainly get the Dwarven Treasury. That would give me some money. Definitely worth grabbing, I think. And I can pick up the troops from the, uh, the extra Wood Elves. Definitely do better than that, especially as we got mass slow. Christ, the damage is real. Woof. I've only got two spell power though, which isn't ideal. I mean, it's good enough, but it's not great. Should be fine though. Like, dwarves are slow as hell, so... <laughs> Uh, I think Wisdom is the sensible choice. Yeah, extra four grand. Nice. Love to see it. Build up a castle. Head for capital. 
and then we'll build up our forces and rock and roll. Hopefully these guys will join. One of your scouts returns from the shipyard with news that a renegade group of Grand Elves has taken control of it and refused to give it up. All attempts to bribe them have been rejected and finally you have no choice but to force them to leave. Hot damn, Jimmy. I really was hoping I could uh, get them to join but alas, no chance. Yep, I'll take that. Counter for oh, I've got no wood. Great. Ah, typical. This morning, some dwarven guards brought me an elf with his arms bound behind his back. He was skulking about, trying to slip by us, he was, said one of the dwarves. The elf smiled when he noticed Aspen standing next to me. Do you know him? I asked my advisor. Well, oh, yes. This young lad is one of the elf king's spies, Aspen told me. Then to the spy, he said, Go on, tell us what you've been doing around here. Last I heard you were in Nyon, were you not? I was, said the spy, and I have urgent news for the king. The Nyons are building a massive army. It could only mean invasion. I see. Then you'd best be running to the king, Aspen said. When the spy was gone, Aspen said to me, No doubt the Dragon Queen has found a use for the good dragons. Soon I imagine they'll be flying over our borders at the head of her army. I won't let that happen, I promised. Um, do we take that fight? Possibly? I think we could probably get a hero to uh, bring me a uh, couple more troops. It's a 5 to 9 E3 that's the problem. Although with slow, I mean we've got 28 sharpshooters, we, with slow we should be able to deal with this. Really? Really? I think not. She hasn't even got any mana. Hell nah. Ah, oh, we got this in the bag. Slow's a crazy spell. Ooh, okay, so they've got at least advanced ballistics. Good to know. Okay, I've literally got one more slow in the bank. So... Luckily, Pegasi act first, as do sharpshooters, so... That ballista is actually doing a hell of a lot of work. But we've got to take out the threat, which is probably the Hellhounds and the Fiends. Yeah, easy, bruv, easy. Even without slow at this point, we're, we're golden. Yeah, water magic is pretty good. Mass plus is a uh, hell of a spell. I did rinse my army a little bit though. Losing five sharpshoot is certainly not ideal. But we have got, you know, about 20 ready to uh, be upgraded. I think we'll wait till the end of this week and then we'll, we'll push out. Definitely want to upgrade Silver Pegasi if I can. And 28 Pegasi. Oof. I'd love to see it. As I ate my morning meal, Aspen approached me with a worried expression on his face. What is it? I said. You'll have to do without my company for a while, Tarnum. I must be off. 
Off? Where? I just received word carried by messenger bird that one of our spies is trapped behind enemy lines and needs help. Apparently he has remarkable news about a plot against the Elf King, Aspen said. We'll take some soldiers with you, I said. I don't want you dying before I get a chance to beat you at chess. Nay, I must go alone. Better than I not be seen. I reluctantly agreed, then asked, How is it you know so much about the Elf King spies, Aspen? Smiling, the old elf said, I haven't been an advisor all my life. There was a time when I was Aspen the spy, and if I say so myself, the best spy in the world. Of course, I said. No magic, though. Ah, that could be a problem. In the distance stands the ancient fire gate, a garrison too strong for you to siege. After decades of war between Narn and Avli, the Nyons have fortified it well, and the Pegasi have flown over it many times to confirm the size of the army within. Attacking the fire gate would be futile, so you must find a way around it. Hmm. Well then, I guess I don't have a choice. Maybe I'll wait until the end of next week. Uh, thing is, regardless of what happens, they're just clearly going to uh, attack the second I leave. Called it. And that's an army I can't really... <laughs> that's so cheeky. Um... Okay, well, let's at least wait until next week so we can actually build a... Uh, some troops. What good that'll do me, I don't know, but it is what it is. Ooh, a prison. You were concentrating on navigating your ship safely through the sharp rocks, so you were unprepared for the winged old women who flew out from the caves high upon the cliff face. Orpy! screamed the sailor in the crow's nest. Sadly, he was the first one to fall as the harpies carried him away to their cave. The rest were up to you, and you had to defend yourself. Well, ain't that good. <laughs> Pizza cake. So who's attacking my base then? Okay, well he ain't gonna take that, no chance. Ah, this one might. Today Aspen returned from his mission to rescue the trapped spy. He looked tired, thinner and angry. Oh, I need a drink, he said, refusing to say more. So I waited until he had cleaned up and ate, approaching him only after he had a glass of wine. So what happened? I asked. I was too late, Aspen said, as if it was all his fault. The poor young lad was dead, tortured and left tied to a tree as a message. I clenched my fists at my side, fighting down the anger rising within. I didn't know the spy, but the man must have been courageous to enter enemy territory. He didn't deserve that kind of death. Aspen shook his head and said, And now the information the spy had is lost forever. Whatever plot he uncovered, you will never know until it's too late. Well, that is most unfortunate. So this... Uh, wow, he's got devils now as well? She. Well, I guess we're base trading. You're riding past a stand of dead trees when, to your surprise, an elf runs out. He's followed by many more of his companions. All of them appear tired and dirty. Oh, I thought I would never again set my gaze upon a friendly face, but here you are, the elf archer says. What are you doing here, you ask? We were part of a scouting expedition in search for the vial of dragon's blood, but we were set upon by demons and captured. We were brought here to be tortured, but we escaped thanks to the efforts of our captain, Velita. We've been hiding ever since, looking for a way off this accursed island. You're most fortunate that we stopped here, you say. What happened to your captain? 
Dead, I hope, the elf says sadly. She's been in prison near here for months. The fiends who dwell on this island are masters of torture. The elves gladly join your army for the chance to exact their revenge upon the creatures that hold their leader. Heels, yeah. Man, our uh, army of sharpshooters is getting nasty. Kind of don't want to give them silver pegasus. I <laughs> guess I'll go with the dwarves instead. I reckon... Doesn't really matter which hero I put in there. Ain't no way we stop in that army. No chance in hell. A pit fiend steps out of the bleak prison. It cracks a whip, splitting a nearby rock in two. Immediately, lots more of the creatures come to its side. Flee, or else join the hopeless within our prison, the pit fiend says. Um, no, I think not. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Bunch of archers, I see. Ooh, shot logistics, nice. And gold, yeah, nice. It's basically Geneva as a hero. Definitely upgrade them. Okay, this army is actually pretty insane. We'll just have to leave her there? I don't think I've got summon boat. I'm guessing she hasn't either, no. Okay. Can I get to their base before uh, the end of the week is the question. Well, her main hero is on the other over there, which is good, I think, for us. I'm genuinely curious how strong this garrison actually is. I know it said resistance is futile and all that, but... Is it? <laughs> is it actually futile, or...? I've got to give it a go. Holy shit, yep. Yeah. <laughs> 35, okay. That's good to know. That's quite funny, actually. 35. Okay. Dragon! Someone shouts. At first you scan the sky but find nothing. Then you spot a massive green mound on the charred soil ahead. It's a green dragon, but it's not moving. You approach slowly, quietly, and as you near the creature you can see its wounds. Both wings are broken and most of its tail is missing. The blood pooling on the ground is evidence of a much deeper injury concealed beneath its body. You rush forward, screaming for a healer even though you sense it is too late for this once beautiful creature. Soon the green dragon notices you and opens its only remaining eye. What did this to you, you ask? A gold, the dragon says. It takes one of its last breaths in order to continue speaking. Utari made us fight each other for her amusement. I'm sorry, she'll pay for this, you say. It's a dark power she holds over us. 
I fear her, Tarnum Dragon friend. For the first time, we dragons know fear in Mutari's presence, says the green dragon. Thank you, Tarnum. It was good to die with a friend at my side. Your tears fall on the dragon's blank dead eye. Greetings! We've trapped some arch devils in the hills beyond this tower, and we will not abandon our post until we receive word from our captain, Velita, says the guard in the tower. Interesting. Dismissing a hero doesn't necessarily get rid of them. It doesn't necessarily mean I can get them again, so what I need... Oof, I should have given her a bigger army. Okay, well we need to try and get her to take a fight with one of them and so she can retreat. Unless I swap the armies around. As soon as I'm... Actually, you know what? That's okay. Even if they do land. Which they're not going to do. This is an interesting dilemma. Do we swap this around? Up to 20 arch devils. Oof. Gem. <laughs> Wrong campaign, love. Okay, this is going to be a tough fight. See if we can at least get rid of some of these uh, troops. I really wish I was in control of these uh, tower shots.
Well, that has severely weakened them, at least. We split the troops, actually. I'm going to split a third time. to 19 arch devils that is no joke I don't really have a good army to be honest let's see if we can just take these uh this character out now she's stuck in base Interesting they would target the centaurs. Okay, well, if they keep targeting the centaurs, happy days. Oh, I didn't even see them. <laughs> Stealthy. Actually, you know what? We could probably defend this base. They have. Yeah, I think we could use devils on this army. I think that could be well protected. landfall here. Your ship comes too close to the coast and is bombarded with fireballs thrown by the Magogs hiding on the shore. A fire starts in the hull of the ship, destroying some of your stores before you're able to put it out. How annoying. Need to get Tarnum back onto the mainland. Yeah, that is a pretty big army. I'll go with you good. Unless I don't have much money.
Actually, without the Grand Elves, their army is somewhat limited. I think we got this. Might as well use the freebies. Yeah, no way they beat us now. Beautiful. Their army's way too weak to deal with ours now, so... She's got this guy left. Beautiful. Okay, now it's straightforward. Now what we need to do... Let's get a second boat. It's on them. an interesting mission this one actually it's just like the first proper challenge i've had in a, in a while i like it i've got a second good hero though which i really like Service has been noted, thank you.
2000 XP. I want to upgrade these to silver pegasi as well, actually. And I want to get the uh, free level up. So we need Valita as well, so she can open the path to the Arch Devils. Come closer so that I can look upon you, the guard says. Ah, it is you, Captain. We thought you were dead. Please come in. The gate opens and you may now pass. Okay, let's slow these down, starters. Congratulations, you have found the vial of dragon blood and can claim victory. 